particles up to a macroscopic scale into one state. And for convenience purposes, uh, yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Oh yes, I'm so sorry. But still, particles have to stay in the ground state. And if a macroscopic amount of particles stay in the ground state, which is something that can be observed using classical equipment, that would essentially confirm that all of both statistics was correct, and also essentially invent a new state of matter. For how particles act in the ground state is not how they're normally supposed to act. Now, of course, in 1925, when Bose predicted all this, there was absolutely no experimental equipment that could confirm this, and so no hope of knowing this was true. And unfortunately, it would take more than 70 years, and if a macroscopic amount of particles stay in the ground state, which is something that can be observed using classical equipment, that would essentially confirm that all of both statistics was correct, and also essentially invent a new state of matter. For how particles act in the ground state is not how they're normally supposed to act. Now, of course, in 1925, when Bose predicted all this, there was absolutely no experimental equipment that could confirm this, and so no hope of knowing this was true. And unfortunately, it would take more than 70 years, by which Bose's death had already passed, until 1995, when three scientists at, I believe, Cornell University, showed that a Bose-Einstein condensate actually did exist with experimental equipment. And in 2001, they, those three won the Nobel Prize that Bose himself should have gotten for the discovery of the Bose-Einstein condensate. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh, wait.